Uh, we are at the Tanzania Investment Center offices in Dar es Salaam. Uh, today we hosted uh, a delegation uh, from Switzerland. Uh, the delegation was led by the uh, Switzerland ambassador to Tanzania, um, who was accompanied by a representative from Switzerland Global Enterprise and Swiss Business uh, Hub, which is uh, located, uh, headquartered in South Africa. Uh, this delegation was on a fact-finding mission. Of course, uh, they've been interested uh, for a couple of uh, uh, years now, at least a year ago, uh, with what is happening in Tanzania. Of course, led by Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan in terms of promoting uh, business and investment opportunities in the countries. So they were actually uh, interested to come. Uh, to learn uh, what uh, is at uh, uh, their disposal in terms of business and investment opportunities in various sectors in the countries. And uh, for, for us as a ministry and as a, a TIC, we were able uh, to allude to them, to present to them all the opportunities, the procedures that are in place, the legal and regulatory infrastructure that has been uh, continuously being improved to facilitate investors, particularly from Switzerland. Of course, as they've said, and we understand that Switzerland is a small uh, European country, but they are very advanced in high tech. Uh, their economy has advanced solely, or mainly uh, their basis has been the small and me medium-sized enterprises. And we have agreed that there's a lot to learn and synergies from our two parties in terms of how we can collaborate uh, to ensure that their SMEs are able to penetrate the Tanzanian market, be able to invest here and uh, uh, in collaboration with the SMEs in the countries so that we are able to satisfy the demand, the domestic demands, but also uh, able to export uh, in Switzerland and other European markets and the rest of the world. Of course, we've been able to explain to them that we are doing a lot of reforms in the country, particularly in the investment industry and trade sector, we are reviewing all of the sectoral policies, but also the Investment Act to be uh, very specific. We have also informed them that in order to reduce rate tape uh, and to be more efficient in terms of facilitating investors, uh, our ministry or the government is at this point in time uh, uh, establishing uh, an electronic investment single window system. Uh, this system, once in place, fully implemented, uh, will be able to uh, accommodate all the relevant uh, government uh, investment-related institutions under one hub. Uh, the investors will be able uh, to uh, interact with the system, uh, you know, observe or scrutinize the opportunities, be able to apply and acquire most of the relevant certifications online. And this will, you know, save a lot of time and a lot of cost. Uh, we are also uh, in the implementation of the Blueprint Action Plan, which again also aims at uh, uh, reducing uh, trade and investment bottlenecks uh, uh, in place. So uh, they were very appreciative and uh, they were also able to inform us that uh, we need to collaborate to ensure that the Switzerland uh, Chamber of Commerce is uh, introduced or established in Tanzania. In this one, we have uh, agreed with them, we will collaborate with the Chamber of Commerce in Tanzania to ensure that they have very close uh, uh, ties with uh, their colleagues from Switzerland. But we've also agreed that uh, towards the end of this year and early next year, we'll be coordinating uh, trade and investment missions from uh, for investors from Switzerland to visit and engage uh, with their colleagues uh, in Tanzania uh, to make sure that they are able to take advantage of the opportunities in various sectors in investment. Of course, the areas that they've shown interest is on energy, on tourism, uh, logistics and transport. Uh, of course, they are, they are, they are interested in, in uh, capacity building, uh, in education, and many other sectors, uh, particularly on vocational uh, uh, related uh, uh, aspects. So thank you very much.